Welcome to Green Healthcare. My name is Johnny. I'm going to be your host today on talking about healthcare, but in a particular subject about hernia surgery. Hernia surgery here in Costa Rica is very common. It's done very much. Um, you can have it done on the northern section, San Jose, a lot of section. But today in particular, we're going to talk about how to choose a doctor and also most importantly, how to take care of yourself when you're doing hernia surgery or even choosing that doctor. The first thing that we want to talk about is this. When you're choosing a doctor, you want to choose a doctor based on specialty, making sure that he practices in the area, verifying that. Here in Costa Rica, with the Colegio de Medicos, they have a list of people that can practice in certain areas. And also, if you have questions about the doctor, you can ask them. The other thing that you want to take in consideration when you're doing this is you know what when you're doing a video here in Costa Rica you're gonna hear some sounds a lot of times so don't mind the sounds it's just just nature here Costa Rica talking to you now the other thing too is that when you're getting the surgery done you want to make sure that you choose a location not just by price or oh, it looks nice on the outside but the, the, the physician which is the most important thing he's prepared now what do I mean by that is this is that he or she's going to tell you some instructions on how to better do with this procedure now when you're doing your procedure is this a lot of people say you know what oh it's an ambulatory system ambulatory way of doing things you go in in the afternoon it's sedation sedation always especially in that particular area it's going to take a time to wear off i'm going to tell you about an experience about one of our patients that his sedation did not wear off. What does that mean? He called me at two in the morning and said, you know what? I, I feel this tremendous pain, but I can't go to the restroom. And then I tell the patient, I wish we were in the hospital right now, but he didn't want to pay that extra $200 that it had been to stay in the hospital. I highly recommend when a physician tells you you got to stay and you sort of think it's ambulatory, stay in the hospital. Do not check yourself out. In this particular situation, the complication that happened is that he couldn't go to the restroom. So what happened? We had to get an ambulance from his hotel back to the hospital, have a nurse put something that's not so good inside that area got him relieved and he was back at the hotel but we didn't have to go do that if he would have been in the hospital the nurse would have taken care of him helped him with that now i want you to take this experience that i'm not going to say to you that doctors are always right but i am going to tell you this is that a physician specialized in the area is going to know best practices so please listen to them. If it's based on cost, your safety is more important in your well-being. So please, when a physician tells you, hey, you need to stay in the hospital, please do that. I hope this information was good for you and that if you want to keep on seeing some of our videos, that you sign up. Buda Vida.